Hi guys, it's Craig from VPN Mentor. We want to welcome you to another review of VPN providers. Today it's a Zire VPN. We want to check out what they have to offer, how competitive they are pricing wise, and the performance of their services. After that, we'll contact customer support and see how they respond. Looking at their landing page, we first see that they really value privacy. By looking at their claims of helping to avoid censorship, interception, and regulations, they support several VPN software like WireGuard, which should be superior compared to the others, OpenVPN, and Sox5. But also by seeing the payment methods they support, which besides the traditional ones, various credit cards and PayPal, include more than a few cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin included. One more great thing is that they offer the same options for all their subscription plans. Heading down the page, we can see that they have 22 dedicated servers on five locations, which is not a really big number, but it doesn't necessarily mean bad service. We'll take a closer look into that in a bit. They support public IPs, offer unlimited bandwidth, and don't restrict P2P networks, so using torrents is fully supported. They also claim that no logs are kept, and they're not able to monitor the traffic over their servers, which is great if it's true. All of the major operating systems are supported, including the two biggest mobile ones, but it seems that WireGuard client isn't available for Windows. We must give some praise for their excellent documentation for all of their software and services, and especially how neatly it is presented on their website. That being said, the website could seem clogged up for people that are not tech savvy or for the ones getting to know a VPN provider for the first time. Now let's head to the plan section and go through the subscription process. They offer several options, including one month, three month, or 12 month subscriptions, where the latter is the cheapest, but we'll go with the one month for the purpose of this video. Before purchasing, make sure to check out the coupon page so you might find even better deals on their services. We also have to mention that refunds for this plan are not available as well as any payments made with Bitcoin. After signing up and confirming with our verification email, we're signing in. Here, we can see that they give a 24-hour free trial even though they mention it is upon request only. We proceed through the dashboard and check the sections within. Through it, you can pay your subscription, download installation files, change notification settings, or even export your data. Let's proceed with the payment using PayPal. After the payment is confirmed, you'll be returned to the dashboard page where it's possible to download configuration files for your operating system. Throughout the process, we select the United States Miami as our server. Windows is our operating system, and left the other options by default. After that, let's install the Azire VPN and check out their service. This process implies that you already have OpenVPN installed on your Windows machine. Before trying out their service, we're first going to see how our local network performs, so we can make the comparison effectively. To make sure we're on the right track, we'll clean the browser's cache and history. We can see we're currently in Belgrade, and our local connection seems to be good. 50 megs per second for download, and 2.86 megs per second for upload with a 10 millisecond ping. Lastly, we're opening Netflix to see whether we can locate our TV series of choice, The Walking Dead, which we shouldn't be able to according to our current IP. That's right, the show does not show up in the search. All right, let's now check out how their network performs. If you, for some reason, cannot run the Azure VPN config file, you can try loading it through OpenVPN by moving the config file to OpenVPN's config folder. Signing into our account, we're successfully connected. Checking out our IP address tells us we're in the USA and testing the connection gave us very, very good results. 45 megs per second down and 1.92 up with a bit higher ping of 152 milliseconds. That should be more than enough for streaming Netflix. Opening Netflix and searching for The Walking Dead once more, we can see that the TV series does show up, but unfortunately we can't stream any of the episodes. Considering that this is the only USA server they offer, we seem to be out of luck this time. We've contacted their customer support, asking for advice about choosing the right server for Netflix streaming, but still didn't receive a reply. We'll be updating you if they do in the meantime. Since we checked their service and completed our test, we'll have to wrap up today's tutorial. 
taking into account that getting a refund is not possible for a one month subscription. In the end, we'd like to show you how to remove the VPN app from your system in case you weren't satisfied with our service. Since Desire VPN doesn't have a standalone app, but uses the OpenVPN platform, the only thing to remove is the OpenVPN client. In case you want to delete it, you can do it by right clicking on the Windows icon in the bottom left, and then on Apps and Features, where you'd search the list for the app you'd like to remove, or just scroll to its location. Upon finding the app and selecting, press on Install, and follow a procedure that is usually the same for any other program. If you're interested in Desire VPN and their services offered, I suggest heading to our review page. It can be a lot of help in deciding whether they're the right choice for you since there are many expert reviews, ratings, and comparison with other VPN providers. That'll be all for today's testing. Now let's check out how good or bad the service seemed. They support all the usual payment methods, including many cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. It works on all major operating systems, including the mobile ones. They don't keep logs or track any user browsing data and they support P2P networks. They have all features available for all plans, and they have a very neatly organized website. Things we'd like to see improved are getting more servers in more locations, and getting Netflix to work on those servers, and getting a more streamlined website layout for those users who aren't so tech savvy. Can't say that we weren't satisfied with the overall service, but because Netflix didn't stream the show, let's be honest and say that's a deal breaker for most users. But thanks for staying with us throughout the video, if you liked our video, please like, share, comment below.